Okay, hey guys, we got another sharpener review because that's what this channel has become now, just reviews. Now, if you have watched the video, you probably remember this dude over here, the um, Westcott iPoint Orbit. Now, that was a great pencil sharpener, but it sort of got dull and doesn't really sharpen very well anymore. Well, because this uses a flat blade. Now, this one over here is the Office World's Electric Pencil Sharpener. Proprietary technique sharpens pencils quickly. Press to start the machine. Durable steel helical cutter. So this uses a helical blade right there instead of this little flat blade that doesn't really work very well. It excludes broken lead automatically. Top automatic at stop automatically at a perfect point. Large capacity and pencil shaving container. So, um, here it is. And uh, this is, you can get this, you can pick this up for $19 on Amazon. There will be a link in the description to that. And so let me open this up. We have attention. And it's just sort of a thing. And we got this. Are you happy? Are you not happy? So it says, be with your purchase or have an issue, just email them. All right, that's so. Have this. this boy over here. This is the uh, USB wall adapter. I bet you could use this for your phone, but it seemed to use a weird voltage. Okay, hey, so um, this is a day later. I actually have used this pencil sharpener. The video I recorded got corrupted because. My phone is too old to work very well, but yes, we have the Office World Pencil Sharpener. It's out, so first we have to put in the batteries. You see, mine are already in, but it takes four uh, batteries, and like I said, you should use rechargeable batteries if you like the client, like the environment you put them in and now you have the sharpener you can also use this which can be plugged into any standard usb hub usb anything and so you don't use the batteries a power bank computer it's great so i plug it in so i don't you know wear out my batteries so it's great for sharpening colored you do get some of that uh color crap that comes out and it is a bit louder than that small one I had but that like I said uses a flat bit blade and it's very underpowered so yeah I just sharpened a pencil here it is whatever so yeah you can see it there's also um it's also is good for sh uh, sharpening colored pencils but you get that color essence Well, maybe only sometimes you do. Yeah, so you get really, really sharp points. Like, look at that. That is a beautiful pencil point if I've ever seen one. More dull pencils to show. So let's compare this to some other pencil sharpeners I have. This, yeah, the iPoint Orbit. I talked about this and I praised it hard, but now it's it's bad. It's bad. I'm really sorry. It's bad at sharpening colored pencils. Usually the point will get stuck. This is what happens when you sharpen a colored pencil with that. This. See that? That is the point of the colored pencil and it's also got really dull after a while either that or the blade got misaligned I think it may be a mix of both with that one but I talked to technical support and they're sending me a new one so I will talk about if that one 
lasts much longer, I will talk about that. And my opinion will probably have changed. Maybe I just got a bad one or something. Ow, that hurt my ears. I only have some colored pencils, so they'll have to do. Like I said, it's not good at sharpening colored pencils, but... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Did it actually just work? Somewhat. Actually didn't work too bad. Let's try this again. Yep, this is what happens, okay? The point breaks off. You know why the point breaks off? Because the auto stop on this is crap. Look at this. Look how uneven this point is. Maybe I just got a bad one. We'll see once they send me the new one. But yeah. See? I mean, and it's not even much of an down... Uh, and this, this isn't even... But sometimes it is a bit hard to yank it out of here. Now we also have this, which uh, I don't know why I really brought this out. I just wanted to show you. This is the best handheld, very small sharpener ever. It's the Bostitch, Bostitch Twist and Sharp. It's very good. All of my classmates love it. And it's one of the best for handheld sharpening. It's pretty cheap. They even have a twin one. Just two areas, which I think is uh, about six dollars. These are about four dollars. I bought two. My friend uh, who had it, it lasted about two months before getting dull. But for, but for four dollars, that's really good. So I think that's it for now. Um, I will see you guys in the next one.